Hey everybody, this is JJ. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to open up your NAT type. Um, make sure that it stays open where it's not moderate or strict NAT type when you're playing Call of Duty, for instance, or uh, Xbox Live. This is for the Xbox One console. Um, so we're f first things we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get the proper DNS server, which is going to be the fastest and the closest one to you and which will make your internet run a little bit smoother um, if not even faster um, and it's also gonna we're gonna show you how to open up your ports uh, so that your NAT types do stay open um, so for, first off let's do the DNS so that you can go ahead and have that running since it takes a little bit so uh, go ahead and search for name bench uh, DNS uh, once you're there uh, go to the first link for me anyways is the code.google.com I will have this link in the description uh, on YouTube um, go ahead and click there uh, and I'm doing this strictly for Windows so we're gonna go ahead and click there and Windows download and download that one um, go ahead and run it and then extract it so at this point um, we need to get in command prompt so that you can know the different IP addresses and whatnot. Uh, from Windows 8.1, you can just right click the start menu and click command prompt admin. Uh, another way, if you're not on 8.1, if you're just on Windows 8, you can click start and then you can go ahead and type in command prompt and it'll be right there as well. Uh, if you're in Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you can hit the start menu and then there'll be a search bar right here. Type in command prompt there. All those work so from here when you're in command prompt I want you to type in IP config forward slash which is where the question mark is all and hit enter and then it's going to show you all the different informations about your uh, your network so for your network uh, look for default gateway so we're going to keep command prompt open this entire time so that you can uh, go back to it when you need to because you're gonna have to go back to it several times um, your default gateway is going to be your router. It's your router's IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.7. Anyways, you're going to put your router's IP address, whether it's this or 0 .1, 0 0.2 at the end, or even if it's uh, what 10.0.0.1, there's another one. There, there's several different ones. Every router is going to be different. That's the reason why you need to do this through command prompt. Um, Go ahead and type in that for your name servers. It might already be up there. If it's already up there, then just leave it alone. Uh, leave everything where it is default. Uh, go ahead, have these two checked. Have that fast and 250 right there. Go ahead and start benchmark. It's going to take anywhere between 10 or 20 minutes to run. Okay, so go ahead and let that run. While we're letting that run, um, we're going to go ahead and open up your router. So uh, you want to make sure that you type in your default gateway the IP address in your browser um, it more than likely going to ask you to log in uh, with your administrative uh, login I already have it in there but if you want to if you don't already know your administrative login for your router go to portforward.com um, and in portforward.com go to router passwords under router passwords uh, you're gonna want to find your make and model of your router mine's in that gear uh, so I'll go ahead and find that gear and and it'll show you all the different models and it'll tell you the admin for the login and the password alright so once you're already logged in um, you want to go here go back to portforward.com and go to routers uh, this is you're gonna find the different you're gonna find the different ports uh, from this one uh, sorry my headset turned off and I had to turn it back on um, go ahead and find your uh, make a model router mine's net gear um, it's net gear Nighthawk but it's not listed for mine so I'm gonna go for the uh, previous router which is one before that which is 3500 um, and then after you go to the model uh, the model of your router you're gonna want to find the game and what for 
So I'm going to go ahead and do Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Xbox One. Uh, and it's going to show you all the different ports that you need. So before you go ahead and do this, we have another step that we need to do. You need to get onto your Xbox One. All right, and we need to set a static IP address for your Xbox One. Um, so go ahead and go to your Xbox One, and you're going to go ahead and hit the Start menu, and then go to Settings. Go to Network, <coughs> and then Advanced Settings. All right, you're going to want to go ahead and click uh, or, or hit A on IP Settings, and uh, go to Manual want to do manual so at this point we're going the first one that says IP address is going to be specifically for your Xbox one you're going to make sure that this is going to be your IP address for your Xbox one so first off you need to go back here to the computer and look at command prompt so you remember what your default gateway is uh, whatever it is take the last two numbers and you want to change the last two numbers for the Xbox one See, mine ends with a 7, but you want, you can choose a number anywhere between 1 and 255. Um, I suggest just use a double number, uh, 44, 66, 77, 88, 99, whatever. Um, go back to your Xbox One and make sure that uh, your IP address is exactly the same as your router's IP address except for the last two numbers. As you can see, the last two numbers of mine, I have 44, so 192.168.1.44. Go ahead and hit enter or start. Um, next is your subnet mask. That's going to be the same for everybody. Um, I haven't seen it different from anybody else, but in case you don't know what that is or exactly the numbers for it, which is 255.255.255.0, it will be in your command prompt on your computer, as shown right here. So where you see subnet mask it's 255.255.255.0 should be the same for everybody but I've never seen it different so once you're done with that go ahead and hit start again on your or enter on your Xbox and your gateway your gateway is your default gateway again that is your router's IP address same one that you entered in the browser so that you can log on to your router um, Go ahead and enter that in, whether it's 192.168.1.1 or 2.4 or whatever it is, or 10.10.0.1, whatever it is, whatever your ad, uh, your command prompt shows for default gateway. Uh, go ahead and hit enter or start, and then uh, more. I don't remember, but I think it automatically goes to your DNS settings. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the DNS settings. So. DNS settings, we're going to go ahead and go back to the computer. Um, by, by now, your benchmark, um, the name bench service should be done. Um, we'll go ahead. It, if it's done, then you're going to have a pop-up. It's going to pop up, and it's going to look something like this. Um, it's going to show three different DNS servers. Um, what you want to do is, if your primary DNS server <coughs> is faster or not, uh, see, mine says it's going to be 19.7% faster. Um, and it shows it's uh, what 205.171.3.65 so you're gonna want to enter that one the first one in your computer I'm not your computer your Xbox one you're gonna want to enter in the first IP address uh, the DNS IP address for the Xbox um, right here as soon as I can pull up the Xbox um, go ahead and enter that in I have the Google's IP address because that's also a DNS server which is really close by which actually is pretty fast uh, for me um, but you know you want to use your primary server because uh, it's gonna be a lot faster and smoother for you uh, go ahead and enter that in uh, hit start and your secondary server um, even if it shows that there's something else faster for that you want to use your routers IP address again because then it's just gonna uh, go ahead and default through the different DNS servers for uh, your router through your modem and your actual network whether it's Comcast or Cox or uh, CenturyLink or whatever you use <coughs> go ahead and hit start um, then that's it right there on that part you go ahead and uh, hit B to save um, it's gonna test your connection it's gonna be like all good uh, at this point 
you're going to want to completely turn off your Xbox fully, 100%. By doing that, you want to hold on to the power button and hold that down uh, until your Xbox is completely turned off. Don't just tap it because then it just puts it in standby mode. It's not even turning it off fully. But that's also how you fully reset your Xbox, or you can do it through the settings menu, but either way. Um, next, uh, so you know your IP address that you set for your Xbox. The last two digits, uh, I have 44. So when you're going into your port forwarding, once you're there, uh, follow the directions on the portforward.com to get to your specific router uh, port forwarding address area. Um, this is going to give you a list of all the different ports that you need to open for Call of Duty and Xbox Live. Uh, some of these are for Xbox Live specifically, and some of these are for Call of Duty servers specifically. Um, so, when you're in your port forwarding, um, when you add your port forwarding and it's asked you to uh, insert for the IP address what it's going to be directed to, you're going to want to direct it to your Xbox, uh, your Xbox One, which I set mine at 192.168.1.44. Yours might be 447788, whatever you put your last two digits for. That's what you're going to put in there for the port forwarding. Once you're done with all of this, then turn on your Xbox. And your Xbox should be connected right. Um, once you're, let's see, yeah, we'll go ahead and start up the game, uh, Call of Duty.